in these problems, we're using something called the rational zeros theorem to help us find possible candidates for zeros of a function. And this is useful when uh, maybe you have a function of a higher degree, one that you can't factor easily. Um, you can create a list of all the candidate zeros, possible numbers that are going to be zeros of this function. And then if you wanted to find the zeros you could from that list, you could test them in the function. So let me show you how this works. It's not really too tough. All you need to do is identify the constant term and then the uh, leading coefficient. So here we have 3 and 2. And you'll want to list all the factors of those two. So if I were to list all the factors of 3, it would be 1 and 3. But don't forget negative 1 and negative 3 as well. And if I were to list all the factors of 2, well, that would be 1 and 2 and negative 1 and negative 2. Now, what we're going to do is put the factors of the constant term over the factors of the leading coefficient and uh, put them together in all the combinations that there are. So let me see if I can list that. First of all, I could have 1 over 1. I could also have 1 over a negative 1. So these are all going to be positive and negative. So 1 over 1. Uh, is a possible factor or zero. Uh, and let's see, we could have 1 over 2. Again, we could have 1 over negative 2. So this is going to be positive or negative. And then we could have 3 over 1. And again, a positive or negative. And we could have 3 over 2. And again, positive or negative. So I think those are all the possible combinations we could have. There are eight possible zeros here. Let me just rewrite these uh, in a list that makes a little more sense. Um, so we could have plus or minus 1 half. I'll just put them in increasing order. We could have plus or minus 1. We could have plus or minus 3 halves and plus or minus 3. So there is our list of all the possible zeros of this function. Let's try one more for practice here. And this one is just slightly trickier only because they have not ordered this function in the way we, we normally do. Uh, so when you identify your constant term and your leading coefficient, make sure you've got the right one. So here they are. Uh, our factors of our constant term, pretty easy. It's just 1 and negative 1. The factors of our leading coefficient would be 1 and 9, negative 1, negative 9, and 3 and negative 3. And now we'll put these over those. So that would be 1 over 1, again, plus or minus. Uh, 1 over 9, plus or minus, and 1 over 3, plus or minus. And if we want to list those in ascending order, we would say plus or minus one ninth, plus or minus one third, and plus or minus one. So that is how to use the rational zeros theorem to come up with all the possible rational zeros of a function.